Hi, it's Robin Williams from everythingfallbrook.org, and I'm here to interview Roxy Musa. When I learned that she was basically the Mahjong queen of Fallbrook, I was intrigued. But then listening to her story, I learned so much more, and I'm so glad I did. I'm excited to share this interview with you all. Enjoy. I love Fallbrook because I have made so many friends, beautiful people, and you get a lot of support, love. Oh, that's wonderful. So you would recommend for people to retire here? Oh, definitely. My father used to say, have thousand friends, don't have one enemy. And I feel I'm blessed to be in Fallbrook. Oh, that's wonderful. My name is Roxy Musa. I'm a registered nurse. I was a head nurse, 400 bed hospital in New Jersey. My husband was a high school teacher. We both retired. We could hardly wait to move to California. Of course, our son and his family were, is in California. So we moved 1993. And we've been happy ever since. We asked our son where would it be best place to settle down and he researched that Fallbrook was a very quiet, most all professional people that are retiring, they come and settle down in Fallbrook. She to they to he told us to settle in Fallbrook. I have made so many friends, unbelievable. I came from Lebanon. I worked in American Embassy in Baghdad. I went to the consulate one day. I asked, I said his name. I would like to go to America, what do I have to do? He asked me, do you have relatives there? I said, no. Do you have friends there? I said, no. But you're a nurse? I said, yes. He said, well, they need nurses there. Why don't you apply different hospitals, see who would respond, uh, sponsor you? And I asked him, I said, would you help me write that letter? He said, sure. So he helped me write the letter. I changed a few things that I did not want to come here as exchange student. I want to come here as a professional RN. I found a hospital who needed me in Pee Wee Valley, Kentucky. And they offered to pay me $1 an hour. I was thrilled that I can work there and he would prepare my paperwork so I can move with my family to America. So it was time for us to move. I moved to Pee Wee Valley, Kentucky and I made one dollar an hour. And with my husband and two children. Roy was one of them, oldest one. Three times in one year. Whoever paid me 25 cents more, I moved. Before four book, I was in New Jersey. Yes, I was a, 400, a supervisor 400 bed hospital for years till I retired. When I first moved, all of a sudden, I felt like I'm missing something because I wasn't working. So I went to um, Fallbrook uh, Community Center and this guy said, I, you, you should meet Newcomers Club. So I joined Newcomers Club and then I joined every club in Fallbrook. Garden Club, Women's Club, Quilt Guild, you name it, I joined. Oh, when I joined Newcomer Club, they said, Roxy, we're going to go to Pat, Pat's house. I said, what's there? They said, there's a game, a Chinese game we're going to teach you. I said, oh, okay. So we went to her house. There was one teacher for 12 people. I said, how could this be? This game takes a table, is four people, 
one teacher, that's ideal, but not 12 people because we didn't know what to do with the tile. And I mastered it, I learned it. I said, someone has to teach this appropriately. I bought the Manjan book and I learned, mastered it, and I started teaching. And when they graduate, people thank me for teaching them such an exciting game. There's someone playing Mahjong in Fallbrook every day, including Sunday, because they go to church, they come to somebody's house, they have lunch, and they play Mahjong till four o'clock in the afternoon. Okay, take this, okay? Uh -huh. You don't want to give this. Every smart woman knows. You don't want to give her this. Oh! Okay, you give... I'm getting it, yes. Okay, you give her that one. All right. It, it's not theirs, it doesn't okay. matter. Okay, right. say ding-dong number one. Ding-dong number, number one. Two. Number two. Two. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now, which is your stronger, my darling? Every now smart can... woman knows. Actually, it's word of mouth. I never put an ad in the paper. Word of mouth, as the ideal way is a one person, if she's interested, she should have four friends that are interested also. Because after you learn, after six lessons, you really don't know everything. You have to practice, practice to master it. There are two kinds of mahjong. American Mahjong and Chinese Mahjong. American Mahjong, they give you, they send you in a mail, a little card that tells everyone how to play Mahjong that year. Next year, they send you another card. That's the way you're supposed to play. But to me, they're making money off, off of you every year because once you know how to drive a car, do you need to be told how to drive the car next year? Of course not. I teach people Chinese style Mahjan. Once you know how to play, you can play 100 years the same way. And if you look in a computer about Mahjan game, the benefits of it, it is tremendous. It prevents Alzheimer's, dementia, because they advise you, it improves your personal interaction, you need a lot, and brain exercise. We laugh, we talk, we eat, and then we pay each other with sticks. And that's brain exercise. For instance, if your score is 150, and my score is 100, how much do I owe you? 50, of course. So, everybody walks out of my house laughing, talking, how much they're enjoying. By playing Mahjong, it stimulates your brain and it prevents Alzheimer's and dementia.